In this tutorial I will demonstrate how to install the Glassfish application server. I assume you got your VPS up and running and you are logged into your VPS shell prompt. It, you should be seeing something like on my screen if everything is correct. So, um, the installation of the Glassfish server is done in two steps. You will see it's really easy and you will go from your blank VPS server to the Glassfish administration console in just a few minutes. So, the first thing we need to do is to type the installation command. We are using yum tool and the installation line is yum-y install eroute-glassfish3. We are installing the Glassfish 3 server. If you want to install Glassfish 2, you just need to rename the package into eroute-glassfish. All packages at Oxus and eroute are pre-configured and when they are installed, you are ready to go. So no additional work there. Alright, YAM is now installing the Glassfish server. And we are soon done. So now that the Glassfish server is installed, we just need to start it with service Glassfish 3 start. Now it says starting Glassfish service waiting for the main one to start. And there we go. It's up and running. It says here that admin port is 4848. So now I just need to find out what's the IP address of my test VPS where I'm installing these applications to show you. Here it is. So I just need to now open my browser. Type port 4848. And Glassfish administration should be loading up. So now it says the admin console is starting. Please wait. When the console appears, you'll there be able to deploy your Glassfish application, configure JDBC connection to your database, etc. etc. You're probably familiar with this interface from your NetBeans. There we go. Now we will test the Glassfish on the web. We should be seeing now the Glassfish test page. Here it is. Your server is now running, it says. If we go back to the shell terminal, and type service httpd in start. We can freely remove these ports because Apache Web Server will be up and running. And you should be seeing the same screen without ports added to the URL. That should be all. You would be really ready in just two minutes to start deploying your application and you're ready to go online. Thank you for watching Oxus Tutorials.